For today's floral card, I'll be combining some stamping, coloring and die cutting. To begin with, I've die cut a frame and a panel out of watercolor paper with my 5x7 rectangle dies. And now I'm tracing a frame to define my working area. Next, I'm sticking down the frame onto the light gray cardstock with the double-sided tape. Now I'm trimming the gray cardstock to create a thin border, about uh, 1 16th of an inch or less. I'll do it both on the outer and inner edges. I'm positioning the side lattice die at the right edge and uh, I'm tracing it with a pencil. I'm going to heat emboss the outline rose image from the flower patch clear stamp set. I will be stamping the images one by one with the embossing ink. I'm applying some white powder just to be able to see where the image is. Then I will know where to stamp my next image. To create a small rose, I'm inking up the image and then wiping off the ink from the outer petals with my finger. Then I'll be using this leafy stem stamp to add the leaves. I'm going to ink up the leaves one by one and stamp them just as I did with the flowers. When everything is heat set, I'm placing the matching die over the rose image and taping it down. Then I'm aligning the pencil line with the edge of a cutting plate and I'll be running it through my grand caliber. This way the image is uh, cut out only to the right side of the line. Then I'm going to repeat the same process with the second rows. Now I'm tucking the lettuce die behind the flowers and running it through the machine again. The result is the roses overlapping the lattice, but the whole piece is still one layer. I'm erasing the pencil marks now. To color the flowers I'm using spun sugar and weathered wood distress inks and a water brush. The technique is really simple. First I'm coloring the whole rose with spun sugar and then I'm applying some gray only at the bottom of the petals and blending it out.
To color the leaves, I'm using weathered wood only. To create a background, I'm picking up some grey ink with a water brush, applying it close to the image and then I'm dragging it outwards until the color fades completely and only the clear water remains. This way we can get a simple and very soft background. Next I'm going to stamp the ferns three times with the weathered wood and use a matching dye to cut out the images. I'm tucking the fronds behind the roses and then I'll be securing them at the back side with uh, some pieces of tape. For the sentiment, I'm coloring the small area with the same inks I used for my image. I'll be cutting out the sentiment four times and uh, then gluing all the pieces on top, one on top of another. The colored die cut is going on top. I'm using some foam tape to mount a frame on a panel. Then I'm attaching the sentiment with the liquid glue. I'm also going to add some background color to the strip of watercolor paper to go behind the lattice. Now I am attaching this strip to my 5x7 card base. Then I'm adhering the panel on top with the foam squares. The card is now ready. Hope this tutorial was useful and don't forget to check out the pictures at the end of the video. Here are some more similar tutorials to watch as well as the link to the supply list. Have a great day and thanks for watching!